Oh, wait a minute. I think I see something. What the hell is going on back here? What's good, everybody? Today, we are back with a brand new WWE toy hunt. Going to be hitting up a couple stores, man. Still on the hunt for Monday Night Wars Series number two and Series number three. And we're going to be hitting up Target. Hopefully, they have some good shish, as always. Going to be hitting up, you know, the, 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 the usuals. The usual guys that we hit up on our toy hunts, man. But I have still not been able to find Monday Night Wars Series two and Series three. I don't know what's going on with my Walmart. You know, SummerSlam has come and gone. And the shipper was SummerSlam themed. So, I'm guessing... My Walmart either A is going to be super late or B, they're not going to do it at all. They're not going to stock them at all. And I'm just going to have to find those figures on the aftermarket. I, I just have had no look with Series 2. And Series 2, really not even that sought after, man. I care about the Build-A-Figure, but the set itself, not that great. Not my favorite set. And then Series number 3 is pretty solid. I do want the RVD. I do want the Harlem Heat figures. I'm excited for the chases, even though those seem to be damn impossible to find as well. So... I don't know what really is going on there, but we're we're going to find out together, man. We're going to hit up a few stores here today, and hopefully the toy hunt is not dog shish. But however, man, today we're going to be going out into the Alabama heat. It's been hot as shish. If, if you guys are from the south, you know how hot it gets, especially in Alabama, man. It feels like somebody's walking around with a damn hair dryer plugged in or just a hair dryer that doesn't even need to be plugged in. It's just constantly somebody's just blowing it in your face as you're walking down the street there so that should be fun but nonetheless we're gonna hit up some stores and hopefully we will find some good shish man we're, we're constantly on the, the hunt for good shish and maybe we'll find some surprises along the way you never quite know on the toy hunts man so we will find out together man but we're, we're gonna be hitting up some stores join me on my adventure as we go and let's see if we can indeed find some shish that's worth a dang the damn probably not gonna be good looking for the shipper though we'll see if it has the shipper monday night war figures you never know in here but let's find out together all right guys here we go let's find out what we got today anything worth a shish anything worth a shish got a little greatest hits aj styles got the same damn superstars figures right here chases a galore just a shelf warmer python power python power more python power more superstars jesus christ doink more superstars doink chase there's like 75 of those chases nyla 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 we have matt jackson aj styles of course three supreme pentas no longer 12 of them we have a, a knuckle cruncher bobby we got plushes we have rumbler rings rebound rings i always mess up the name every single time I cannot find the clear John Cena of this basic. I can't find it. It's actually impossible. Jesus Christ, Shayna Baszler, man. Got AJ Styles back there. Greatest hits. AJ is pretty cool, though. Not going to lie. Pretty cool. They had the full set, but it seems like they've sold. We have uh, Cena Theory down here. We got some World Heavyweight titles. We got Cena and Theory again. We have My Idea Legacy Pack got five of those if they would drop me i'd buy more we have the kickout ring we have stolen austin which happens this is in even the walmart that had the stolen one so somebody stole this one now and people are stealing again man terrible just dude quit being a damn thief you shit stains out here oh wait a minute i think i see something what the hell is going on back here all right man Look back here, dude. Is that a freaking, oh my God in heaven. Look at that. Look at that right there. Greatest hits, repaint Batista in the wild. Look at that. What a find. What a find. Somebody hiding out Batistas back here. Anything else? Oh wait, we got something else. What do we got? Is this the rock? Oh, oh my goodness. It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness. We got the rock. So we have the rock and Batista. I don't think I need either of those, but still a cool find. I still haven't unboxed my rock, but I did review this on the channel. I don't know. Should I just put them back? We're just gonna, we're just gonna stow them away. Guarantee they're gone next time though, because somebody in the area watches these. And they're gonna come back and buy that. So that's still cool to find though. Pretty sick. Nice to see. Pretty, uh, you know, if you don't include the same bare news shish, at least we got something new in the wild. So we'll, we'll always appreciate that. Let's see if we find anything else. I'm getting bold on these toy hunts, man. I'm just yelling in the aisles nowadays. Oh, we have an Alexa Bliss Ultimate. Pretty cool. And then we have, what else we got? Another Python Power. Pretty cool. Not really. Psych. Lied. And then all this shish is just shelf woman. Iron Spider and Iron Man are just shelf woman like hell. 
but got a little bit of indigestion. Jesus. All right. Well, looks like we're on to the next one. I think I'm going to hit up my target, see if we can find some stuff. But one thing about the target that I'll explain later. But uh, anyway, I think we're moving on. I find it completely ironic that in the last clip, I was legitimately talking about how confident I was about talking on the aisles. And now I am voicing over this clip. So we did find the Greatest Hits Legends figures right here. And the reason I'm voicing over is because it was so busy in there. Because I live in a college town and there are so many college students just running rampant everywhere. And it makes me insecure to talk in the aisles. So I just filmed this video clip right here. But there was a ton of Hulk Hogan's. We did find the rest of the Greatest Hits Legends. You had Jamal, you had Rosie. We found a Chase Big Boss Man here or Big Bubba, whatever you want to say, man. We did have two of the chases. We found a bunch of the Hogan's right there. I already have that full wave. We found Rosie as well. Another Big Bubba over here. A couple of those regular edition. Three old, or three regular edition. We have Jamal over here. This Miz Basic is really, really cool. And this entire wave right here is actually a pretty damn good basic wave with the Miz. And then you also have that Cody Rhodes, I think, with the hoodie. And then you also have Maxine Dupree and Eddie Guerrero. So it's a pretty damn good basic wave, but all they have was Sheamus and Miz. So I didn't grab this. I left the purple, you know, purple suited Miz. Might make a Seth out of it or something, but I didn't grab it. But I did grab some of these figures here that you'll see in just a moment. But finding these figures was cool. But one of the things that I found in the wild the other day is I actually found the Alex Reynolds figure, which I'll showcase in just a moment when we show off our hauls. But it was crazy because I came here not toy hunting, found all this shish and they had the Booker T, but on this version right here in this clip you're seeing now, I could not find Booker T. So I didn't find Booker T the second time, unfortunately, but seeing the greatest hits legends is cool. We found Brian Danielson. We found the Dr. Britt Baker figure. Couldn't remember if I actually included this figure in one of the video toy hunts yet, but this face sculpt was kind of looking a bit odd, but I want this figure eventually. I just don't know if I want to pay full price for it. I do love the packaging, the pink foil, the championship, all the different good things, but I did not want to spend full price on it. So I did leave that one behind there, but we also had the rest of Unmatched Series number nine. And the other day, I think somebody bought the Jeff Hardy as well because I found Alex Reynolds and bought that. And then they did have the rest of the wave, including Jeff Hardy. But then also, they did have the Low Rider. We have the Low Rider with the Rey Mysterio figure in the promo gear. So I did want to get a shot of this in the toy hunt. So I did, you know, put it on the shelf there, videoed it. It's a very cool figure. I thought it was really cool. The packaging was sweet. Like, just seeing this in person was really awesome. I never ordered this or anything. So I, 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 I didn't know if I was going to grab it, you know, but it looked pretty cool. The packaging was really sweet. It reminded me of anytime you do Mattel play sets and Reckon Slam mobiles, even though this isn't a Reckon Slam mobile, it is just called the Lucha Lowrider. I still wanted to get a look at it because I think the packaging is always really well done for Mattel but we also saw the Mac the, the Max the Smackdown four pack here which we did review on the channel beautiful looking pack I always enjoy the box sets and then we did have the classic cage play set which we've seen obviously and I know we want more play sets and I think when we say we want play sets for Mattel we want we want the big ones man we don't want just want like basic ring play sets or the ring play sets with the count out ring and stuff look at the cup holders on this damn car but yeah I, I just wanted to do a voiceover clip because the aisles were packed but that's it all right, fellas, this is what we got, man. This is what we got. Hold up, my PlayStation's making noise. But today, man, we did locate a lot of stuff, man. We got the greatest hits in here. Now, I did pick these up for my buddy Matt, who is obviously a wrestling figure photographer. So he, you know, he was looking for these. I really, I was on the fence about buying these. And I found these on the toy hunt originally. So in the thumbnail, you're going to see the one of 5,000 Alex Reynolds figure. So the other day I went to Target. I think it was yesterday at the time of recording this. One of 5,000 Chase Alex Reynolds right here. Saw this on the pegs and the aisle was stacked. It had the greatest hits. It had the legends. It had all that stuff you saw in the video. So this figure was chilling there with the rest of it. We got the greatest hits, the legends, the entire stacked Target there. But I did end up picking up this, like I said, for my buddy, and I just, I don't really, I don't know, man, I bought the last set of greatest hits, and just none of these figures really stood out to me besides King Booker, and when I went originally to get this figure, when I found this figure originally when I went to Target with my family, you know, it's just a quick thing, we were just going there, I didn't go specifically on a toy hunt, so I grabbed this, but I did not grab the greatest hits, but they had the full set, but now when I went back, they did not have King Booker, but they had the rest of them, but just I, I just have no want for any of these figures, really. I, I just don't have, like, any inclination to pick them up. I, I maybe? I, don't, I just don't know, man. It's just not, uh, I don't know. It's just not a set for me personally. 
But it is cool. I do like the Legends Greatest Hits line. I think it, you know, just like the top picks and the other Greatest Hits line in the day. I actually forgot this line existed, you know, like the Greatest Hits Legends. Because you have Greatest Hits Legends. You have regular Greatest Hits. You have From the Vault. You have the best of Monday Night War. You have the top talent. So there's legitimately five or six re-release waves now for Mattel, which is just absurd. But we did get Tugboat right there. He's looking pretty good. He's got the, you know, the toot toot head sculpt right there. And then uh, I, I think I'm going to open up this Alex Reynolds just so I can have them all. You know, I, I don't really have an inclination to have him men on card, you know. But we did also pick up the Ultimate Warrior figure with the Intercontinental Championship. He's got the face paint. This is probably probably my favorite figure out of the set, or besides King Booker, obviously. And then last but not least, we do have IRS, which is cool. And I always liked this figure originally, but... I don't know, man. Just not my favorite set of all time. Not my favorite set. It's not a terrible set, but I am going to hook my buddy up with those. And then we did get the Alex Reynolds, which definitely popped me hard because anytime you find a chase figure, it's always nice. But completing the Dark Order, not completing the Dark Order, but having this guy to, you know, complete this set, I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm missing the other chase, but this is the one that I was mainly after. So, but this was, uh, this was the, it was cool to just see Target completely stacked. And I'll probably go back and get that Lowrider eventually, but this is what we have for now. What the hell's Dirty Dom doing over there, man? Look at him. He looks like a mob boss or something, just chilling and catering over there. But anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our toy hunt for today. You know, still can't find the shipper to Walmart. I guess, you know, SummerSlam's over now, so I guess my Walmart just didn't get it. You know, I never saw any. I have not seen any of Series 2 or 3 of the Monday Night Wars line, and Series 4 is going to be hitting soon. And then you have that best of line. So, I mean, my my luck on Monday Night Wars has been complete shite. So, I don't, I don't really know what to do at this juncture, man, but... That is pretty much going to wrap the toy on. I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. But I do believe that is going to wrap the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, I've said that twice now, you dumb idiot moron. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.